Welcome back to Radiology 2. Okay, this is the second part of my tutorial. I'm gonna, I don't think, I don't know if I'll do a third part and I don't wanna call this advanced because I don't know, there are lots of things that I still don't know. But, well, I thought I'd help at least in any way I can with this. Let's go. Right, first I got two things that I got wrong last time and I wanna uh, clarify those. Uh, first is the items I said that or at least like this this yeah I said that um the this this um this um energy saving item looks like a gray item in the in the manual and it looks like that in it looked like that in the like the Tokyo game show build and the uh, previous uh, like the builds at previous events, but it doesn't it doesn't look like that anymore. It's a big it's a big orange circle now um, So sorry about that. It's a big orange circle, but you'll you'll know that you're um, You'll know that you'll know that you're in energy saving mode if if your um, if your battery is Oh, whoops. I forgot the uh forgot that. There we go. Let's take that off um, Oops Hold on. There we go. You'll know that if you see your battery gauge will your battery gauge will go orange with Murasame if you are in battery saving mode. Okay. And the second thing I want to say is um, I said that um, a fire you can't do anything about fire, but you can do something about fire with Murasame if you have the uh, Epsnet. If you have the, the yellow, uh, the the white circle on your ship. Um, you will be invincible and you will also not take any damage from fire uh, so but but using using epsnet on uh, layering like high, uh, overlapping the epsnet on your ship does drain your battery a bit faster but it's I guess it's better to better to lose a few percentage points of battery over that over that battery drain rather than lose like like uh, I don't I don't know how much it is but it must be like 15 or 20 percent from the fire um, that's errata done. Okay. Uh, next, I want to. Next, I just want to show you how to stay alive. I want to talk about staying alive with um, Murasame. Um, this the same sort of goes. No, it doesn't really go for a Kojiro. The, the thing. The thing about Kojiro is that if if you if you're just playing while you're, you're doing lots of combos and you're destroying lots of enemies, you're not getting hit. You will eventually get health items. That's and you'll be okay basically. Like you know. With Kojiro, you don't really have to worry about it so much because um, because your battery isn't draining all the time, like with Murasame. Murasame, your battery is draining all the time, so you need to you need to replenish it somehow. Um, the first thing I'd say if, for staying alive with Murasame is that you need to. I think you just need to just keep playing the game, get used to the game, um, and try and try and unlock try and unlock rank two. Uh, play rank two because um, f to get more battery with Murasame, you need to you need to um, infect and destroy lots of enemies. You need to keep your you need to keep your allergy combo going, and to keep your allergy combo going, it helps to have lots of enemies on the screen. So it helps to have a higher rank. It's it feels sort of counterintuitive, but um, once you get used to the game, having a higher rank will make it. Easier to stay alive, easier to continue uh, playing. The, easier, easier to keep on going, you keep on surviving with Murasame. Um, that and I will let me let me show you. Let me let me demonstrate a little bit on how to how to how to how, how or like the sort of the sort of how it feels to um, how it feels to. Let me let me just show you very very quickly just how it feels to. Um, uh get back some get back some health i'll just do it quickly after i do this i'm going to talk a bit about scoring <laughs> um oh yeah i'll tell you what i'm going to do i'm going to i'm just going to use up a bit of health i'm going to use up a bit of health with the laser I'm gonna use up a bit of health with the laser. So let's say you let's say you um 
you know, you use up health by using your laser and you need to get some health back. So what do you do? Give me a second. Let's get it to let's get it to something like let's get it to something like um, 70 or something. Oh, I don't want to collect that. I don't want to collect that because I don't want to collect that because uh, I'm trying to demonstrate how to replenish health. Okay. Okay. Let's get yeah. So I'm I'm at 70. Yeah. So like let's say that's that's like I got one hit. I got one hit. So what I'm going to do is I want to replenish my health. So. I am gonna increase my combo. Gonna increase my combo. I'm back to 76. If you look very carefully, um, you'll see some green stuff go to the battery, and that that means your battery is getting replenished. It's it's like if you um and like it's 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 replenishing quite quickly now. Can you if you see that? I'm already at 93. And I got I got a, I got a little health item to get me back up as well. So that's um, it's it, it when you play with um, when you play at the highest rank, there are lots of there are lots of enemies and there are lots of opportunities to get your health back. Uh, the you know the the sort of this this what I'm doing what I'm doing is I'm not shooting anything at all. I'm not I have the shot completely turned off, and um, ba my basic strategy is. I think I, I think I covered this in the last video as well, but in the last stream. But um, um, I sort of stay near the top of the screen. Uh, you can do this. As, you can do this especially in the first in the first few stages. I stay at the top of the screen. I I keep the um, I keep the Eps net on the other side of the top of the screen, and I and I um, I sort of alternate like that. I sort of alternate like that basically. But well, when you get to the boss, you want to um, you want to be over here. Right, let me show you. If you if you press um if you press and hold, if you press and hold this. If you press and hold the um, Epsnet button. You'll be completely invincible. Also, I forgot to mention, but your um your gauge doesn't go down very fast when you're when you're um your gauge doesn't go down very fast when you're when you have the Epsnet on your ship. So you like if you want to cons if you want to conserve G gauge. Uh, putting the Epsnet on your ship is one way to do it at the cost of battery drain. Um, I don't know that you, I don't know what, I don't know how optimal that is. But anyway, anyway, that is staying alive. Uh, yeah, if you do, if you keep your combo going, if you keep your, shall I, shall I go? Let me, in fact, let me do the, let me do the second stage, and I'll, 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 I'll get back from. Oh, I, I got to zero. Okay. Um, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get hit a few times. Oh, you don't forget you also get you also get 15 health back when you defeat the boss. So um, that's a nice little bonus as well for Murasame. Let's do that. Let's see. Let's see how we can um, let's see how we can uh, replenish our health from 90. I'll be at 90, won't I? I'll be at 89, won't I? 89. There we go. So I'm at 89. Let's say I get hit again at the start or something and then I'll let's say I get hit at the start I need to go on this side there we go okay so I got hit oh no I need to I need to get my battery back up again and really need to get my battery back up again um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just at the start of the stage because I'm, I'm you're very weak at the start of the stage you need to boost your shot power and you also need to boost your G gauge so I'm gonna shoot but now now I'm quite now I'm quite strong or at least I've got my G gauge quite high so I'm gonna I'm gonna just just do my strategy again of staying at the top of the screen highlighting enemies on the other side of the top of the screen and then um, going to hit them with my sword I'm not hit I'm not shooting them at all. I'm just hitting them with sword and highlighting them with And that's that's it. I mean, I got some I got some health items as well. 
I got some health items as well, but, um, oh, there's a big health item, that's nice. Um, but, you know, I'm back, I'm back at, I'm back on top. You know, I'm back to 100% now. Um, so that is, that is how to, that is how to recover with Murasame. The thing about recovering with Murasame is that you have to ignore all the other elements of the game, or, well, in fact, there are yeah, two things. So one thing is that you need to... Well, one thing is that you you need to get used to how the game plays. Uh, you need to get used to sort of what enemies you're looking for, um, or how the un how the enemies appear and how the enemies tend to attack. But and also you you sort of need to ignore all the other sort of things that you need to ignore the uh, you need to ignore like uh, the, the 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 riddle orders that I'll get to later. But um. If, if, well, we're just solely focusing on surviving here. This is, this is, I'm, this, I'm just trying to explain how to recover, how to, how to, how to survive. Oh yeah, also, because you're using your, uh, because you're using the Epsnet, you won't, you will not get, uh, 64 multiplier. But, I mean, the, the point here is that you just want to, you want to recover. If you're in your, if you're, if you want to do a recovery phase, this is how you recover. Anyway, that's, that's that. That's that. Okay, um, that's staying alive, that's staying alive. Um, next I'm going to talk about elements of scoring. I've got little, note, look at the little notes on me. Uh, I actually got some notes this time. So elements of scoring, like when you look at the messages, um, when you look at the mess, in fact, let, let's do it while I talk. Well, let's, let's talk while I, while I play the game. Um, if, you, if you look at the messages in the game, I mean, you know, if, you, uh, if you look at the hints in the game, like they're obviously all in Japanese, but um, uh, I was looking at the hints in the game, and it said that uh, there are a few things. It, it, it mentioned a few things that contribute to score. One is combos. Um, so if you keep your combo going, it seems like if you keep your go combo going, you'll get a higher. Uh, it seems like if you get if you keep your combo going, you'll get more score. So like a higher combo gives you more score. So a higher combo will not only give you more health, it will give you more score. Um, but also, you know, the higher multiply will give you more score. So there's a sort of, there's a sort of, um, there's an interesting sort of uh, tension between, between, um, s between combos that you need, you need to use your EPSnet for, you need to use the white, white circle for and um, the multiplier, which you need to deactivate. You, you need to destroy enemies with the EPSnet deactivated to get the 64 multiplier if you have max reception and max G gauge. So I, I'm not really sure the um, the optimal choice for the, between those two. Uh, it like one person like uh, I saw one person on Twitter trying to infect enemies with the EPSnet, deactivate EPSnet, destroy them with sword or destroy them any way you can to get the 64 multiplier and then reactivate EPSnet um, to highlight enemies so it's so so that so that uh, and then destroy them quickly before the combo goes away before the combo breaks um, but that that seems to be very very complicated and I don't think I, I don't know if I don't know if the top scorers are actually doing that uh, the third element of scoring though is it might eclipse the other two it's the Tadayo items apparently like there was a recent video from Beep <coughs> explaining the game, and it said the Tado items have a large amount of score. Um, and it, it seems like the more Tadayo items you get, the, the the bigger score they give you. So the first Tadayo item will have like a certain amount of score, but the, the second Tadayo item will have will give you more score than the first one. So it seems like if you get lots and lots of Tadayo items in a run without continuing, you might get a really huge score just simply from those Tadayo items alone. Um, so that's, um, I haven't, I haven't quite verified that yet, but, um, that's, that's the, um, that is, that is, um, that might be, that might be the biggest source of score, I'm gonna say. Um, speaking of which, so there are lots of different ways to get Tadayo items. Um, I will I will put something in the description to. Um, oh yeah, I was going to do that. Give me a second. I, I'm going to I'm going to um, going to pop up a thing of um, a list of how how 
of, the, of my findings so far. But, um... Um, should have done this. Should have done this before starting, because I but I didn't do that because I can't plan things. But anyway, I tell you what I'm going to do though. I tell you what I'm going to do. Um. Uh, here we go. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, I've, I'm going to I'm going to put uh, I'm going to put going to put this text up in the description, and I'm going to. Yeah, there there are, there are several sources of Tadeo items. Like you can get at least um, at least at least um, at least twenty if you know what you're doing and if you if you've played the game a long time, you can get at least twenty. Uh, to get the last to get the true last boss of this game, you need to get at least fifteen. It doesn't you don't you can continue. That's no, that's no issue. Um, there are several ways to get Tadeo items. Um, okay, I'm going to, in fact, I'm going to read them off, uh, I'm going to read them off, and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to read them off, I'm going to put them on the screen as well, give me a second, should have, should have done this earlier, but, give me a second. Right, yeah, okay, there we go, hold on. Um, there we go. Give me a second. That's not right. And yeah, so you get there are sparkly circles in in stages. There are three sparkly circle circles in each stage. Um, okay, here we go. Here we go. Sorry, this is Moji Moji Love being very 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 um, very professional here. Um, here we go. Hold on. Let me put. A but I put a border on. I'm I'm really sorry. You should. I'm really sorry about this. I should have done this earlier, but don't worry. There, that's that's visible, isn't it? It's pretty much visible. There we go. Okay. Yeah, let, let's put the, put the screen away for a second. It's five for all sparkly circles in each stage. There are three sparkly circles in each stage. You have to hit the first sparkly circle with shot. You have to hit the second sparkly circle with with a sword. Uh, uh, or if you're playing with Kojiro, you need to do it with um, red shot. So if if you're playing with Kojiro, the first one is with regular shot. Uh, the second one is uh, the second one. The, the first blue circle is regular shot. The second green circle is with sword or with red shot, and the third yellow or orange circle is with um, shield with Murasame or with the bomb with Kojiro. Uh, and they are hidden in, there are three hidden in each stage. They're always in the order shot, sword, uh, or blue, green, yellow, shot, sword, shield, or shot, red shot, bomb. And you need to get, if you get all three in one stage, you'll get one Tadao item. Next is four, five for each circle of boxes. There, are, there is a circle of green boxes hidden somewhere in each stage. If you get that, all that, if you get that whole, uh, if you get the whole circle of green boxes um, um, in one go, you need to hit, you need to hit them all with one sword attack uh, with Murasame, with the, with the max G level spin sword attack. Uh, in, and you need to hit them all in one go to get the Tadeo item. With Kojiro, uh, you need to hit uh, you need to hit them with a bomb, uh, and you need to get all the boxes in one with one bomb, and then you will get a Tadeo item. If you don't get them all in one go, you won't get it. Um, if you get them in two goes, you will not get it. Um, if you miss any of them, you will not get it. Uh, it that is it's, it's very tricky with it can be very tricky with. Murasame with Kojiro. There's a there's little trick to do it to to do it. If you if you if you um I, I will show I'll try to show you if you um if you activate the bomb. Oops. If you activate the bomb as you if you activate the bomb as you um if you activate the bomb right when you right when your ship touches the very bottom of the circle. I'll I'll show you. 
to you because it's easier to it's easier to show. But if you activate the bomb right, then you'll all, you'll pretty much always get all of the all of the boxes uh, with Kojiro. So it's, I, th I find it easier with Kojiro. Anyway, um, the next one. This is this is a this is this is a this is what this is a an order. If you um you get five automatically at this uh, well you get one automatically at the end of each stage before the boss if you have cleared enough orders if you did enough regular orders. So really. My advice, if you want to get to the, if you want to get, if you want to score high, and if you want to get to the true last boss, is really just, just try to enjoy the game in any way you like. Don't really worry too much about memorizing all these, all of these circles, all of these boxes, and things like that. Just, just play the game, because um, a lot of the orders are just simply destroy this enemy, destroy enemy X with a shot or with sword or with bomb or with shield. So just keep, just, just. Just well, as in the process of getting used to the game, in the process of um just playing the game, you'll clear a lot of orders. Once your total order count, once your total order percentage goes to about fifty or sixty percent, you will find yourself getting, um, I think I think it's fifty or sixty percent. It, it takes quite a lot of time to get to that stage, I'm afraid. But once you get to that, once you get to that percentage, uh, you will find yourself getting five automatic Tadeo items. Uh, just simply by playing to the end of each stage, uh, so that makes it a lot easier to get to 15 items, so that you can get to the last boss. Um, two for the rows of boxes. The reason why I've paused it at this part, this stage is because there are there are there are there are there are there are there are, there are these these rows of boxes that I'm talking that I mentioned here is um, they appear in stage three and stage four. So I want to show you stage three. I won't be able to get the box. I don't think I'll be able to get the Tado item for the boxes because it's very tricky. But I will show you where they are and what you need to do. Um, for the next is four for the two hundred for a two hundred um, allergy combo with Murasame or a four hundred combo with Kojiro. For every fifty, every uh, when your combo. Every fifty, when when you, I can't speak. Okay, um, at every at every increment of fifty, uh, combo, you will get one Tadayo item up to two hundred with Murasame, and for every hundred combo, um, you'll get a Tadayo item with Kojiro until you get to four hundred. You'll you will only ever get four items from combos, but um, you can you, uh, oh yeah, the, a tip for me for that is, um. Um, what is my tip for that? Yeah, you should do that after you have after you've done all the sparkly circles. If if well, once you get to the really, once you get once you once you've remember once you've memorized the sparkly circles and the boxes, um, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of space in the stage at max rank. Uh, once you after you get the last sparkly circle, so you can spend the rest of the stage, uh, trying to get your combo up. Um, oh yeah, one one for getting hit ten times, one for getting hit twenty five times, one for get, getting hit forty times. So you get a total of three. There might be more, but um, I haven't tried. I've 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 got I've confirmed ten, fit twenty five, and forty with Murasame. I'm not sure if that's different for Kojiro, but um, if you really want to get to the if you really want to get to the last boss, getting hit might might uh, give you enough um tada items to get you over the line. Um. You can continue if you can con you can reach the boss even with continuing. So um, uh, getting hit is not is not a bad it's not a bad thing if you want to get to the last boss and get lots of Tadeo items. And uh, one for getting lots of laser it's either laser laser kills or um multiply or getting multiplier 60, 64 multiplier kills. Um, I'm not sure which one of that it which one of those it is, but um. You do get one with Murasam. You get another um, Tado item with Murasam if you do that, and another one for de deleting lots of bullets uh, with red shot for Kojiro. Oh, there's also another one for not for not using uh, bomb with Kojiro or not using the Epsnet on enemies with with uh, Murasame. But that sort of that sort of goes against the whole. Um, that that goes against the the things that you need to do for the other items. So I haven't listed that here. Uh, so what's that total? Five, ten, fifteen, seventeen, uh, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Like, there's a total of like twenty-seven, twenty-six, or twenty-seven items that you can get if you know exact or if you know exactly what you're doing. 
or maybe it's like 25 depending on the ship they're using yeah, it's at it's 25 I guess if you know exactly what you're doing and you do it very if you do it perfectly you can get maybe like 20 to 25 items but um, it's very very difficult to do that uh, so you, you well fo first focus first simply focus on getting on on just getting used to the controls getting uh, getting your overall order percentage up and then you can start thinking about these these uh, mystery these riddle orders okay I'm gonna turn this text off I'm gonna go back to the game I'm gonna I'm going to um, so so first it's not it's, it's sort of out of order but I want to show you the um, I want to show you how to get the how to get the boxes how to get the boxes um, in fact while I'm at it I will show you I'll show you where the circles are for in this stage as well. Uh, so, if you when you start the stage three, it's a bit silly to start with stage three, but I'm gonna. I mean, this is this is what we're this is what we're not being silly is not really in my in my uh, not really what being Moji Love is about. Okay, um, if you if you go a little bit to the left when you start stage three, you will come to oh no I already got it there, there is a like there is a there is a um, there is a, a a blue circle there but I got it before I could even see it and show you so once you get that you want to go to the you want to go to the right hand side of the stage like go quite to the right hand side of the side of the stage before the boxes appear you will see a green circle appear as well hold on let's get to it I'm gonna I'm gonna switch to this. <laughs> Give me a second. There's the green circle. Okay, this is the. These are the boxes. So um, it's really hard. You need to get only one of these two rows. You need to get only one of these two rows. If you, if you use the button config to do the regular. If you if you do the button config to get the regular um, sword, you can, you can sort of get it. You can sort of get it. Um, you can sort of manage to get one of those two, one of those two columns. But like, it's very, it's it's hard to time it, and it's hard to position your ship as well. Uh, the the circle of boxes is here, there. But I missed it. I missed it. I didn't get the, I didn't I didn't get them, and the shield circle is there. I got it, but I didn't get the didn't get the Tullo item for that. I don't know why. I don't know why. Okay. Like, you can sort of see how complicated it is. <laughs> you can sort of see how very, like, it's very, very, very technical. It's very technical. Um, my recommendation really would not be to stress too much about it as you start playing the game. Um, also, like, because, um, because there is, there is quite a leeway once you get those five automatic items from the start, um, don't stress too much about getting it perfect. Uh, and another recommendation, as I'll say, is is getting. It, it's. A, I think it is a lot easier doing it with Kojiro than with Murasame. So if you want to, if you really, really want to see the last boss, um, just just try it. Start off with Kojiro. Start off working with Kojiro, and then um, and then um, start off working. Start off with Kojiro, and then work your way. Um, and then, and then maybe try 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 doing Murasame later. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna exit this. Oh wait, yeah, yeah hold on. I'll show you. I'll show you. Um, I'll show you how you're invincible to. Hey, look, nothing can hit me. Not even the, not even the flame bullets can hit me with, um, Murasame when I have the, Epsnet on me. But remember, you 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 uh you can move it with your, right stick and you can put it on top of you like that. Uh, or you can you can hold the button you can hold the the um, epsnet button to make it lock onto you I'm not moving the right stick I'm just moving the left stick and it will it, it I'm in, I'm invincible to I'm invincible to these flame bullets but it does it does drain your battery a lot quicker than any a lot quicker than usual but it's you know it's it's obviously better to lose a little bit of battery than to lose a lot of battery like let's see how much yeah, like you lose at least at least twenty percent. I think you lose around twenty percent for one of those um, flame bullets. Okay, I'm not going to continue. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the um, 
uh, riddle orders as well. <coughs> I'm going to show you the riddle orders as well. Oh, don't give me a second. Okay. Like, I'm at 64%. I, I, I got to the last boss when I was about 62%, but that's because it, it took me quite a long... I was spending a lot of time trying to get those boxes. Um, I was doing lots and lots of runs trying to get the boxes, and while I was getting the boxes, I was doing other things. Um, I was just, I was, um, I was trying to get th lots of thumbs ups, and um, while I was while I was doing that, um, I, I just got my I got my percentage quite quite high, uh, without really without really learning anything else about the game, but that sort of helped that helped me um, that helped me get those five automatic items from. Um, uh, for the for the stage end, five automatic Tado items for each stage end. Um, I'm going to talk about these riddle orders at the end. I haven't done all of them because the, the 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 boxes and the sparkly circles are very difficult to get perfectly. So I and I haven't done them yet, and it's it's sort of it's rather frustrating to try to do them. So I haven't done them yet. But I, I will need to do them eventually, but I haven't done them. Anyway, I will describe each one in turn. Um, uh, this is round. Th if you if you translate it with Google Lens or something, it would say find round things. The round things are those green boxes. Um, in fact, maybe maybe I'll show you. Maybe I'll show you those. Maybe I'll show you those. Um, maybe I'll do that with Kodiro and I'll show you them. Um, this one is find long find lo uh, long things vertical long things. That is um that is the the boxes the um the the the, the long the two lines of boxes you need to get. Only one line of them in uh, that is uh, before stage before the stage three mid boss and after the stage four mid boss. Um, oh, uh, I should mention there is a Japanese site that that has screenshots of all the positions of all the all of these riddle orders, uh, all of these like boxes, all of the boxes, all of the circle of boxes, all circles of boxes, and all the sparkly circles are on a uh, are are, de are documented in a Japanese site. Um, that I'll put in the description. Um, uh, I will give you a little hint on those. Uh, the the um, if you if you translate that if you translate that Japanese website, it will it will it, you will get I think easy enough to understand descriptions of where you need to go um, in each stage to get the to get the circles and those circles of boxes and those um uh, those lines of boxes. Um, and if you look at the screenshots and, and you look at the stage progress bar on the right hand side of the screenshots, that will give you a, a guide to show you where where in where in the stage they are. Um, because um, yeah, it's it's there's also there's also a video showing all of the sparkly circles, but it doesn't show the other things. So um, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put all those things in this description. Anyway, yeah. Um, so this is find all the round. Circles of boxes. This one is um, get get those two uh, lines of boxes, purple lines of boxes. Uh, this one is sparkly circles. This one is oh yeah, a find find things things find non toxic things. Um, so non toxic things means do not use. It means do not use your um, do not use your Epsnet because your Epsnet it infects thing. It's it's toxic. So. You do not do not use Epsnet for one for three stages. Uh, you can use them during the bosses, but just not during during the stages. And you'll get you will get that order. Um, this one is find find things that will that will uh, lower your battery. That just that simply means get hit. Get hit fifty times. Get hit fifty times, and you will get this. Uh, you'll get you'll you'll complete this order. Um, this one is find things that will replenish your laser. Oh yeah, in fact, let me let me do this one very quickly. Let me do this one very quickly, because um, there's a little trick to this one. Um, uh, you, like so, first you need to uh, build up your laser. First you need to to get to G level four so that you so that you can use your laser. There we go. Um, so if you do it, if you do it with um with your Eps, with your Epsnet deactivated, you can see the counter at the bottom is going up slowly. If you do it with the Epsnet activated, it will go up like twice as fast or something. So um, 
you want to do it with your Epson activated. Don't worry about your battery. Just keep just keep the laser going. You can continue, and you will. And if you keep going for uh, like 500 seconds, I guess, judging from the rate at which it's increasing, uh, if you go for five, if you do this for 500 seconds, you will get the you will get this order. It's it's not that hard. That's that. Okay. Um, I've I've described everything I wanted to describe, and I've I've only gone for 40 minutes. Um, maybe I'll just keep it short, and that's that's that. Um, oh no 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 yeah, let me do let me do let me do the let me do the um, let me show you the let me show you the the boxes. Let me show you the let me show you the circle of boxes maybe yeah with Kojiro. Shall I? Oh yeah, another thing. I in fact no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it with the orders. I'm gonna do it just a regular with the regular. Uh, the regular, a regular run. Um, okay, we're in stage one, you want to go to the very left. You want to go to the very left. Um, you will find a blue circle somewhere around here. I'm conserving my bomb because I want to use it later for the for the circle of boxes. But I'm staying at the left side of the screen. I'm waiting for the blue circle. I'm waiting for the blue circle. There it is. Can you let me put the let me bring up the um, the pointer? There's the blue circle. There's the blue sparkly circle. If you can see that. So what you you need to hit that with your with your shot. You need to hit that with your shot. You can hit it with other things as well, but it needs to be, and you can like it's got it's got a certain amount of HP, and you can hit it with other things, but it will not be destroyed unless you hit it with the with the requisite weapon. Um, and you need to finish it off with the requisite weapon in order to get, in order to get, uh, in order to destroy it, in order to get um, your tallow item eventually. And if you destroy it, you will hear a you will hear a sound effect that goes. You will hear a sound effect. Uh, oh, with Koji for it's a different sound effect. It's a different sound effect between the two, um, between the two, uh, between the two ships. But um, you will hear a specific sound effect if you, if you listen out for that sound effect, you, then you'll you'll know that you have got that, you have got it properly. Okay, once I get the shot, I want to move a little bit to the right. Here we go. I'm going to do the shot now. There we go. I'm going to do the bomb right when you get to the bottom of the um, right when you get to the bottom of the um, circle of boxes. You. You activate with Quadiro, You activate the bomb, and you will get it. Right. Once you get that, um, once you get that uh, that circle of boxes, you try to move to the. Oh no! I, I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. You need to. You need to keep on going straight, and then you'll get the green. <laughs> you get the green circle. I forgot about that. Sorry, but I'm now. Nah, I'm going to go to the. I'm going to go to the very right. Sorry, I'm all over the place today. I'm going to go to the very right. After quite a long time, after quite a long time, you will see um, a place where you can get the you can get the yellow circle. Oh, another thing I'll mention. Another thing I'll mention is. Oh, here we go. We're going to get to it. We're going to get to it. Where is it? There. Got it. I think I got it. Um, another thing I'll mention is, another thing I will mention is, um, there's something there's something interesting going on with the bomb gauge. There's something interesting going on with the bomb gauge. I think I think you can I think you can say I think you can build up more than four bars. There's something hidden in the chi gauge, or not in the chi gauge, in the bomb gauge for Kojiro. That I think it's possible to build up more than four bars. Let me let me try and demonstrate this. I hope I I hope I can demonstrate this before we get to the boss. Um, so I'm at I'm at I'm at four stock. I've I've got four bombs right now. I'm going to use a bomb now, and I've still got four stock. I'm going to use a bomb, and now I've got almost four stock, and I got four stock again. There's there's something that lets you build up more than four bombs worth of bar. And I don't know exactly how much you can build up, but 
Um, if you want to try and keep at 32, I guess, I guess um, using bombs, keeping it at four, and then then trying to do stuff that builds your bomb gauges, like like getting G G items or destroying enemies, uh, just to keep you at to keep you at 32. To keep you at 32, it might be a good idea. Um, that's my that's my little Kojiro hit a hint. Oh yeah, yeah. So when you're with Kojiro, uh, if you really want to get the if you really want to get the Tadao items, you might want to stall a bit on the bosses. If you would like just to get that extra Tadao item for deleting bullets, you might want to stall on the bosses a bit um, and just delete the delete the bullets like this with the red shot. And if you do that for all the bosses, you will you will get your Tadao item around uh, at around the stage three boss. Um, if you look at the progress bar, there's quite a lot of there's, you, you can you can spend quite a lot of time stalling on the first boss. So you might want to get lots of items. Uh, you might not mean you might want to spend a lot of time getting lots of bullets um, on the first boss. If if you when if you want to get really serious about getting lots of Tadai items and seeing the last boss. Um, also, if you want to get hit, I think um, if you want to get hit and get lots of Tadai items during the stages. Because you need to sp spend lots of um, energy and uh, focus on getting like those specific targets, those sparkly circles, the um, circles of boxes uh, during the stages. You don't really want to get hit during the stages because you might miss your chance to get uh, those targets. So I recommend getting hit by the boss. Um, so if you get hit lots of times by the boss. Uh, then you can, then you can, um, you, you might get your th your three i your three your three um, tada items from getting hit like 10, 25, 50 times. I th um, that is about all I have to say. I think that's another forty-five minute video. Sorry, it's so long, and sorry I didn't sorry I didn't plan the, the f sorry I didn't plan the first bit of this that well. But that's about it. I think. I might um I think after this I'm going to just do some I'm, after I after this I'm just going to do some um I'm just going to stream some runs and try to sort of both for my own records to try to see how much each Tado item is worth when you when you collect one and to um yeah, and to sort of show the so just basically show how I play the game I, I I still don't know how to score really well in this game. Um, but that's about it. If you have any other questions, g uh, give me a like. Just say a comment, write a comment, and I will um, try to do what I can to help out. Um, I, I'll, I'll put lots of stuff in the description, um, like a video showing where all the sparkly circles are, uh, and a, the site sh showing where all of the all of the targets are. Um, and I'll, I'll I'll put my list of, of what I have what I've understood so far about how to get the um, how to get the tunnel items. Okay, here's the, here there's there's a circle of boxes coming up here. This um this guy is your guide here. There we go. And then after you get that, you move a little bit to the right. You go over here. You use your red shot. I think I got it. I think I got it just at the last second. There we go. Um, and then when you, yeah, oh, sorry. This is sort of an ad hoc guide to getting the the sparkly circles in this stage. There's the, there's your yellow one. Oh, I got it there. There we go. I didn't get the first one. The first one is the very right hand side of this stage. But I didn't get that one, so I didn't get the Tadai item for this stage. Um, yeah, that's that's about it though. Yeah, if you have any any questions, ask in the comments. I will do my best <laughs> to answer. That's it. Thanks for watching this long video and long unplanned video. Sorry for being unplanned, but see you around soon.